Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about particles and we are going to create an easy fireworks effect in Godot. If you are new to this channel and don't know what particles are, I have an introduction video about the topic. It is using Unity but hey, concept remains same regardless of the engine. And for this video, I am using Godot 4.2 beta. Well, technically, it still can be created using stable 4.1 version. Nothing complicated, but I wanted to mess around with new things, so I'm using 4.2. Okay, I have this world environment node in my scene, and the most important setting here is this glow. And with these things out of the way, let's get started. First, let's add a particle node in our scene. We will use GPU particles 3D because we are working in 3D. And if you have seen that there is also CPU particles 3D node and wondering why we are not using it, well, it was created to work on older devices without dedicated GPU support. And they are getting deprecated, so you all should use GPU particles going forward. Okay, I'm going to call this node Rocket Particles. We have this nice node, but notice that we have a warning, and if we click on it, it will tell us why there are no particles on the screen. We are missing two things here. First is a draw pass. We haven't tell Godot what to draw on screen. So let's go to draw passes in the inspector, and in pass 1, let's assign a mesh to draw. Let's select Ribbon Trail Mesh. It is a 2D trail mesh. Once selected, if you click on it, we have options to adjust our mesh. Now first, let's create a material for our mesh. So create new resource and select standard material 3D. I will call it fireworks and I like to keep the extension dot material. Let's configure our material. First, we will go to Transparency section, set Transparency to Alpha. We want our material to be transparent. Blend mode to Add and Curl mode to Disabled. We want to draw both front and back faces. Then in Shading section, select the Shading mode to Unshaded. We don't want it to interact with lights. In Vertex color section, Check Use as Albedo. This one is important because otherwise we can't override the colors from our particle node. And also check Is sRGB because fireworks or let's say sparks are glowing things and it renders best in sRGB color space. In Albedo section, keep the color white. For texture, let's select Gradient Texture 2D. It will give us this nice little gradient. Let's make it vertical like this. We can fine tune it in fill section. Select fill mode to radial. Check use HDR and flip the gradient. Then check texture force sRGB. Again because glowing things use HDR and sRGB. Then we will go all the way down to transform section and check use particle trails. This is important because otherwise we won't be able to render the trails. Now let's go back to our particle nodes ribbon mesh settings. Assign our newly created material. Set the shape to flat. Just a quad. And size to 0.2 meters and we will create a new curve like this to give it sort of upward fireball shape. Now we have solved one warning for draw passes but one still remains about the process material. Process material tells Godot that how we want to configure our particles, how to spawn them update them etc so in the process material select new particle process material 
and now our particle starts falling. It looks weird but the warnings are gone. Now let's go to amount. This is the total amount of particles that our node is allowed to have. It won't ever exceed this amount. Let's set it to 2. In the time section, let's set the lifetime to 4 seconds. Lifetime is a duration each particle is allowed to be rendered. Then set fixed FPS to 60. Then we are not going to change anything in draw section. But this visibility box is this box. And our particles will only render if our camera can see this box. I am not going to touch this, but you will probably have to depending on your scene. Then in the trails section, I will enable the trails. And this lifetime is the trails length. Set it to 0.5 seconds. And now our particles start to make sense. Now let's go to process material. First set the lifetime randomness to 0.3. This means that we want to add 30% variation to our lifetime. We have set the lifetime 4 seconds. So 0.3 means our particle's lifetime will vary between uh, 2.8 and 4 seconds. Then let's head over to spawn section. Set the emission shape to box. And I want to have a big box on x-axis. So set 100 on X. So basically our particles will spawn from within this defined box. In the velocity, set the direction to up, set the spread to 0 degrees, just follow this direction, don't spread. And set the initial velocity between 25 and 30. Now you can see where this is going, right? Ok, let's head over to display section. We will set the scale between 1 and 2. So our particles will have different scale. Now in the color curves, we can override the colors. In color ramp, let's add a new gradient. Like this. This is basically color over lifetime. So we will start full opaque and then slowly fades out. For color initial ramp, add another gradient. This will be the random color palette for our particles. Now apart from simple effects, most effect in games are combination of multiple particle systems. So we will create another particle node for blast effect. So let's hide this one and create another GPU particles 3D node. I will call it blast particle. We will do the same thing as before. Draw pass. Add ribbon trail mesh. Shape flat. Size 0.1 meter. Assign our fireworks material. And set the curve. Like this. Create new process material. Enable trails, set the lifetime to 0.6 seconds, then set the amount to 30. In time section, set the lifetime to 2 seconds, set the explosiveness to 1. Explosiveness is pretty self-explanatory. If it is set to 0, particles will emit continuously. 1 means emit all 30 particles at once. Then set fixed FPS to 60. In process material, set the lifetime randomness to 0.8. In spawn section, we will set velocity direction to up, spread to 180 degrees, and initial velocity between 15 and 20. Now our particles start to make some sense. Let's go to display section, set the scale between 4 and 6. In color curves, we want to fade our particles. So set the color ramp. We will add the gradient which goes from white to black. We want random colors between red and yellow. So let's do that in color initial ramp.
in hue variation, let's add a variation between minus 0.1 and 0.2. It will randomly shift the hues of our particles between these values. And our blast effect is done. But we want to emit them when our rocket particles die. So let's select rocket particles. In the sub emitter slot, we will assign our blast particles. Finally, in the process material, go to sub emitter section, set the mode to at end. Basically, we are telling Godot to emit our blast particles when our individual rocket particle dies. Then this amount at the end is how many we want to emit. Let's set it to 32. It is the max value. Now it looks pretty cool, but if I set the rocket amount to some high value, we can see that sometimes it emits very few particles or none at all, especially when multiple rocket particles die at the same time. The reason is we have set the amount for our blast particle to 30, so it won't exceed that limit. So let's increase the amount to some bigger number. Pretty cool. Finally, let's add the sparks particles that emit with our blast particles. Let's create another GPU particles 3D node. I will call it sparks particle. Let's also create a new material for our sparks. I will duplicate the fireworks material and call it sparks material. Only thing we want to change in sparks material is in the albedo section, we want to flip the gradient texture. Whenever you duplicate something, one thing to keep in mind is, in Godot, resources are shared. So this gradient texture is a resource, so if I would change it, it will reflect in fireworks material as well. So to fix it, you need to right click and select make unique option. But in 4.2, it seems like it is not working all the time, so I will just clear the texture and add the new one. For our sparks particles, let's add a draw pass, this time with tube drill mesh. It is basically 3D drill, I'm using it because it looks better for sparks effect. Set the radius to 0.2 meters. One thing to keep in mind is we will emit 3D mesh here, so we will reduce the radial steps to 3 to cut down the vertices. And let's assign our new sparks material. Now let's add new particle process material. Set the amount to higher value this time, so 1000. Set the lifetime to 0.3 seconds, randomness to 1, randomize the spawn rate, and fixed FPS to 60. Let's enable the trails and set the lifetime to 0.3 seconds. In the process material, set the lifetime randomness to 0.9. In spawn section, set the velocity direction to down spread to 90 degrees, initial velocity between minus 20 and 20, in display section, set the scale between 0.5 and 1, in color curves, set the color ramp to white to dark gray gradient, color initial ramp to red to orange gradient. Finally, let's select our blast particles in sub emitter slot, assign our sparks particle. In process material, go to sub emitter section, set the mode to constant, constantly spawn particles, and frequency to 20 Hz. Essentially, it means spawn 20 particles per second. And finally, we have our fireworks effect. That's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful, consider like, share and subscribe. 
wishlist my game Cosmic Roads on Steam. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Happy Diwali to everyone who celebrates. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.